Hi guys, so today I'm filming my April favourites and there is a storm going on outside, there is thunder, there is lightning, there is a mass amount of rain and I have studio lights on and I also have a wrap up in this and I hate thunder so Toothless has to protect me right now because I, I really do not like thunder. The wrap up part of this is going to be very quick because I only read one book in April. I know, I know, I know it was bad. <laughs> I read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll this month and it's falling out of its sleeve and it was very good because it had the illustrations and everything else and I haven't read this in a very long time and I genuinely enjoyed it and I had a 21st Mad Hatter's party when I turned 21 obviously so I thought that I really should get around to reading the very lovely copy that Sam's parents gave me and it was just ah oh, so pretty. My favourite film of the month was obviously Avengers Age of Ultron. I watched on the 30th so it was still in April but it was my favourite film of the month because it was amazing and also it glitched a load and that was really annoying and I'm currently... Did you hear that? Age of Ultron was amazing but it glitched a lot and obviously I'm talking to customer services at the moment about that because there was at one point more green than the Hulk so nah. If you guys didn't know, on the 1st of April I went to the Harry Potter studio tour for an anniversary with my boyfriend and I bought this! And it's amazing, it's a Hufflepuff cushion because that is my house. It's so squishy and lovely and it has tassels and that's a favourite because my chair is quite uncomfortable that I have in my room sometimes and this has magically made it the most comfortable thing ever and I actually like sitting in it now. So it's just, it's lovely and it's all squishy and just tactile and I just, yeah. My favourite song of the month was Take Me to Church by Hosea and I had never actually really heard of Hosea before so I'm a bit late to the game. My friend Heather told me about him in February and I forgot the name and then I found the name on iTunes and I only downloaded one song because that is literally the song I like. I don't really like many of his other songs so yes. I don't listen to the radio either so most of the time I don't even know that this stuff is popular so I'm not one of those people that's just like into all like the top charted music. Sometimes I like weird music. Next favourite of the month was a very very thrilling buy. I have a couple of backpacks and I have one that has daisies on it and it's huge. I have another one that's broken and I kind of felt like I needed a summery backpack that was light and I could put stuff in and carry it easily and I found this in Accessorize and Accessorize if you live outside of the UK it is a shop that is basically accessories and it's linked to Monsoon as well and I found this and it's a backpack that has the flappy bit here and then two pockets here and here and this thing is amazing like it looks like it's an adult's backpack it is not an adult's backpack it is a child's backpack so it's half the price of what it would have been if it was an adult so this was only 14 pounds and that is amazing especially by accessorized prices this favorite is actually empty because i love it so much and i had to buy a new one but this is the new charity pot and 100 percent of the money goes to good causes and this one is save shikar America from Guantanamo Bay and they go oh god dropped it there's loads of different ones on the top where they tell you about the charities and everything else and what they're helping and charity pot is basically a lotion that is really just good for moisturizing and if you guys have never noticed or have noticed I have the thing called keratosis pilaris or something it's on your, on your arms you get like bumpy bits and it's like chicken skin that's what it's sort of named as but I hate that name because I'm like I've not got chicken skin arms thank you very much however this stuff really helps with actually smoothing it down because obviously when you have it it goes very red and very very bumpy and it's very annoying because it's not smooth or anything else but the only way to really get rid of it or like lessen it is to moisturize and charity pot is one of those things that used to absolutely so it hit smell, it used to smell like sick on me and whatever happened they reformulated it and it works and it helps my arms massively. And the very last favourite of the month is something I have been working on for the last two years technically because I started it up two years ago then left it and then have redone it and finished it finally into May but it was a favourite while I was doing it in April and it's this blanket that is huge but I crocheted it and yeah it's for when I move out and everything else but it's nice now it's got loads of different colours oh this is actually quite nice I might stay like this for the rest of the video because I'm all warm right now ah oh, that's nice it's got like a non-fitted sheet on the back of it because wool is a little bit itchy when it's acrylic oh god I'm so warm and lovely right now ah oh, can I just go to sleep <laughs> That's my April favourites and my wrap up of the month. I think I'm going to be squishing these two together in future because it's easier and I have just been out of reading at the moment. I haven't really felt like reading a huge amount so that's why my videos have been slightly different and covering different topics because I just haven't had 
the book inspiration as of late and I think that I should be making videos that I feel proud of and that I want to do rather than just doing it to fit the norm of a booktube channel because I think that personally for me just because I'm a booktuber doesn't mean that I can't go out of my comfort zone and you guys seem to react quite well to the things that I go out of my comfort zone for the booktube channel so if you do still like that let me know because it would be useful to know I think the storm has stopped so I'm going to stop this video now so thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and happy reading, bye bye! <laughs>